Hello everyone, it's M from Windows Driving School and I'm going to talk about a topic that people ask us a lot here at our school. So when you go for your DOT physical, they ask us, oh my god, are they going to do a drug test? Are they going to do a drug test? Calm down, they're not going to do a drug test unless you want them to. At our doctor that we partnered up with here in Newark, New Jersey, once you come into our school, we'll give you a receipt where you go to the doctor's office and get your DOT physical. Once you get your DOT physical, you won't have to do a drug test. But also, when you get to the doctor's office, they'll make you fill out some basic information. Just like you do at any doctor's office. But there will be a box on the bottom of that paper that says, Do you do drugs? Very simple answer, no. If you put no, they will not test you for drugs. If you put yes, they are mandated to test you for drugs. That's just a basic safety necessity that doctor's office have to do. So, just put no, and guess what? They're not going to test you. During the DOT physical, they will make you do a urine test. So the urine test will not test for drugs. Don't worry. We have people all the time, they come back from the physical. Oh my God, they make me pee in a cup. I don't know what to do. I just smoked a joint yesterday. Oh my God, it's okay. Calm down. That's just a test. If there's too much protein in your urine, or see if there's any blood in your urine. Just basic physical tests they have to do for the DOT physical. So don't worry. So we don't care what you do on your personal time. We don't care what you smoke, if it's a joint, a vape, we don't care at all. That's what you do on your own personal time. And you have every right to do whatever you want to do. All we want to do is to make sure that you're safe on the road to actually drive or track the trailer so you don't hurt yourself or anybody around you. At the end of the day, safety is key. Whatever you do on your own personal time, that's up to you. Now when you start hurting other people around you, just like other truck drivers or other cars on the road, because you're intoxicated under the influence of drugs, that is not good. We do, again, we are not recommending drugs here at our school. I'm just letting you know that they do not do an actual drug test during the TOT physical. Now, when you start working for a company, that's a different story. Most companies are mandated by their insurance company to do drug and alcohol testing. So that means when you get hired by the companies, especially the big guys, they'll make you do a drug test. So once you get your CDL license, and if you are having fun on your own personal time, guess what? Stop. Because I can almost guarantee they will do some kind of drug and alcohol test on you. So to guarantee that you'll get the job, stop doing it. It's not worth it. And you'll be able to provide for yourself and your family. And whatever you want to do on your own personal time, like I said, it's none of our business. We're just giving you advice. As long as you keep yourself healthy and safe and everybody around you healthy and safe and you're transporting the vehicle, you're making money for yourself and your family and everybody's happy and healthy, that's what we care about at our school. So if you have any questions regarding drug testing, DOT physicals, if you want to use our doctor you can, give us a call here at Windsor's Driving School at 908-862-3252 so we can help you get that CDL license, get that DOT physical help you get that first job as a driver and start your career off as a CDL driver. Thank you.